Hey, I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Give this video a like. Also, guys, subscribe to our podcast. Haberman, that's him. Middlecoff, that's me. Below in the description. So we've been talking about matchups. Uh, Isaiah Simmons, Kittle, Kyler, Niners defense. I mean, there's really... We could go through all these games and pick, like, a bunch of really sweet matchups. But as it relates to fantasy, I would imagine he was the number one pick in a lot of drafts. You can all have him in DraftKings if you want him. Do you think... Christian McCaffrey against the Raiders defense has a chance. Could he put up the greatest fantasy week of the season uh, when we when we look back here week one? I, I would say if you just based it on recent memory of the Raiders defense, a guy like Christian McCaffrey, who, like you said, from a fantasy perspective, I think in most drafts he's at, at latest going number two. And I think for just football fans, it's clear he's one of the most dynamic players we've ever seen. He had one of the most dominant years last year on a shitty team when everyone knew he was getting the ball. I've ever seen. He is a remarkable player. I would go, he is going to, he's the type guy. Remember Jamal Charles in like the peak of like Dennis Allen, right? The early Jack Del Rio. Like they, they, there was nothing they could do. Nothing. Christian McCaffrey is like a way better version of that. I will say this for them. They, their linebacking play with the Oakland Raiders over the last decade plus has been absolutely atrocious. It's been slow. It's been poor tackling. It's just been it, it's been awful. Uh, it's I mean, been un- unathletic. It's it's probably been some of the worst in the NFL consistently, year in year out. They did invest a lot of money in there. Yeah, they took Corey Littleton from the Rams, who is a speed demon. He's a cover guy, which to me against McCaffrey, like you got a guy that can just attempt to play with him. They got Quilkowski, this guy from the Bears, who the Bears loved. You, they just got to the point where. You draft Roquan, you keep Danny Trevathan. You just can't have like your backup guy making seven, eight million. Pay Khalil. The, yeah, the Raiders paid him, and they they like him. So the, their linebacking core is easily on paper, guy, the best it's been in a decade plus. So you just go if you're going to play McCaffrey. It's not as much to me about the defensive line, right? Because he's just he's going to hit the hole. Your defensive lineman, like it's more about your linebackers, and they also get Jonathan Abram, which we'll see how good he is covering tight ends and, 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 you know, the deep third of the field. But you will say Jonathan Abram is was a, known as a fucking hitter. So you just kind of play as a linebacker. You'd go, that's the type guy. Like, I would imagine Gruden in the meeting, like, hey, Jonathan Abram, you, you led the league in, what do you call him, led the league in sound bites last year or interview? He said he led the league in interviews. Like, we drafted you in the first round to take out guys like this. And we know they're going to give him the ball. We think. I mean, it's all based on what Joe Brady throwing the ball. We know they love. I, it, to me, the best Chris McCaffrey play is just run him on a little wheel route, throw him the ball, and just let him let him cook. And to me, that's where Jonathan Abram. I need Jonathan Abram, Quilkowski, and Littleton to tackle this guy. So you'd say the the Raiders, in theory, are more equipped than their past teams to just attempt to neutralize this. All I mean, all star, all pro, elite player. So on top of that, he's got what you just said. We'll talk about the overall matchup in a little bit, but he's got Joe Brady's NFL debut with no preseason games and with Teddy Bridgewater playing for him for the first time. Like, if you told me Joe Brady is making his NFL debut, but Joe Burrow's his quarterback, like, oh, that would – maybe something crazy can happen. Or even like Sean Payton had brought him in to call plays with, like, Breeze or something. But how many – has Joe Brady been doing – like, I know they've had a few scrimmages, but – has he been doing a bunch of simulated games just to get a sense for the time, how many plays you actually get in an NFL game? Well, he, like, he, he's, he's worked in the NFL as a quality well, I, control coach. I know, but I, there's got to be a big difference between calling <laughs> yeah. the plays. With yeah. Hey, Sean, no you need pre- Diet Coke? With no preseasons? So yeah. it's gonna i got to think he's done some simulated games. Um, they are at know, home. I'm Teddy's, sure they've done it in the stadium. Teddy's best year, he had AP, obviously. Um, so I think, I think Christian will have a big game. I do think, is it crazy to say that based on the history of the Raiders that maybe they can be, again, I'm not saying they're going to shut him down by any stretch. I think he's going to be really good, but maybe they could almost be undervalued this, this week, just given that we kind of identify them with, this is exactly the kind of guy that kills them. Cause when you tell me Raiders bad defense, what do you think of? I think, a I think a Nick Foles. I think of Andy Reid um, being at the Coliseum. 
I just think just, guys wide open, defensive backs laying on the ground I think, behind them. You know I think of <laughs> I think of plays where you need the all twenty two to see what happened because the play didn't happen in a ten yard box. It takes no, eighty it, yards to watch the play unfold. Yeah, like two defenders run into each other, and I think every Raider fan would admit their offense has had moments right over the last handful of years where you go, God, this offense could be really good. Clearly, a couple years with Derek Carr. Beside Khalil moments, for the most part their defense has been riddled with highlight plays for the other offense, right? A-B. For guys like McCaffrey. Oh, yeah. I, I just – where I would feel good is like the premise of your entire point of just you are getting a first-time young offensive coordinator. The, the head coach is not a play caller, and he's also coming from college, never been a head coach in the NFL. And a quarterback that, listen, great story. I think Teddy Bridgewater, the respect he has is from people in the NFL, the way he carries himself, coming back from his leg falling off in the practice. Kind of like an Alex Smith-level guy in the NFL. Like, you just you, you just won't read a bad word said about the guy. But I also think it's pretty well established. Like, physically, he's not some elite talent, right? Teddy Two Gloves. I, I saw a clip probably middle of August during after their first scrimmage. It was like, check this out. Every all, The whole team bust home. Teddy Bridgewater, DJ Moore, and two rookie wide receivers getting extra reps. You know, classic, like, remember when Kobe came back in to get shots, like, at midnight after he played the Heat, like, in 2010? It's one of those moments. And I, I, to me, it's, they're going to, they have a team that I'm sure has worked their ass off. I just, I would feel pretty good. I would just do everything to stop 22 because I don't think Teddy Bridgewater can kill me, right? But it's, I would say most game plans last year, once Cam fell off a cliff after like week two, would just stop Christian McCaffrey. And every time I looked up guy on the red zone, there was this 22 white guy going like 70 with defensive players chasing I don't him. see color, John. I don't either, but it's just it's of course not you normal. See, unless you're colorblind, you see color. It, it's, not, it's not normal for a white running back to be this good. And he isn't just good. He's ex- he's Ladanian Tomlinson basically. I mean, that's this guy is unstoppable. It's but a it's, it's a big it's a big challenge for a defense yards. that consistently sucks. Yeah, yeah. But I do wonder is is this game going to be? What's more likely that this game is thirty one twenty eight or that this game is fourteen to ten? Because yeah. I think it's that. Yeah. Well, I'd say until the Raiders prove they can just now, throw points saying, on the yeah. board. That doesn't mean I'm taking the Raiders defense in DraftKings. Don't get me wrong. But are you taking McCaffrey Ooh. when he's the most expensive player? That's Maybe. where. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I, 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 I think long and hard about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. Me too.